Hey, hello guys. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can install Ubuntu 24.04 on your Android phone without root. Okay, guys, so you can install Ubuntu on your Android phone without root. So how you can do that? Just follow my instructions and you will able to use Ubuntu on your Android phone without root. So let's start the video. First of all, you need to open any web browser because you would need a commands to install Ubuntu on your system for that just open web browser and type in google which is mahesh technicals okay just search this term on google so i am using landscape mode that's why i am going to enable desktop site here okay so you can see desktop site is enabled now you can see maheshtechnicals.com website is appear just click on it and you will redirect it to my website after that, you will see one article which is Ubuntu 24.04 article on Android without root. So if you not found this article, no worries. Just click on search icon, then type Ubuntu, then click on search. So it will show you all the Ubuntu related articles from my website. Okay, so you can find if you're not going to found that article. Now open that article. In this article, I'll show you all the steps step uh, step by step, so you can easily follow this. First of all, click on download section, and you need to install these three applications on your Android phone. Okay, so this is Termux application, VNC Viewer application, and Termux API. So all three applications are installed on my phone already so you can see termux application and vnc application termux api is it is not a visual application it is installed in termux in the back end okay so after that you need to come here which is how to install section here now let's start our video and let's start our installation process so first of all you need to update and upgrade your packages of your termux application just open termux application then paste your command and press enter it will take some time i'll fast forward the video little bit so because uh, i need to make a small video okay so you can see our packages is updated and upgraded now the next command is to install wget package and git package so just copy this command and paste okay so both packages are installed successfully now the sec uh, third command is to download ubuntu download a script okay ubuntu installer script you need to download so just copy properly this command because this command is very important just enter it and you can see let me show you type ls and press enter and you can see it setup.sh file is downloaded okay so now we need to give executable permissions to our setup.sh file so just copy this command paste and enter then let me show you so just type ls and you can see this file now in green color it means our executable permissions are granted now you need to run this command to in start installation process of ubuntu so just paste this command and press enter it will start installing ubuntu on your system and it will ask for storage permission just allow it then it will take some time so i am going to fast forward the video little bit because right now we are installing ubuntu terminal here okay after that we can install gui mode so you can see our ubuntu terminal is successfully installed so now the next step is to exit your termux from here okay now again open this termux application now type ubuntu Now you can see our Ubuntu terminal mode is activated on our Termux. Okay, so now the next step is to 
set up our root username and password for that just copy this command user.sh command then paste that command into your terminal because we need root access to install ubuntu so don't worry it is not your android root it is ch root so it is installing sudo packages and set up username and password so wait until it is asking for username and password so let me sh wait here okay so it is asking for our username so you can put any username but in the lower case now it is asking for password so you can set any password but i recommend you to set weak password so you can remember it okay now you can see our username and password root username and password set up successfully now the next step is to again you need to exit your termux then again open termux then type ubuntu okay so let me copy command first okay so now we need to install gui mode so it will take some time so just copy this command and go to ubuntu now you are in terminal mode so just install gui mode in our ubuntu system okay so just paste this command and press enter and it will take 15 to 20 minutes guys according to your internet speed and storage so make sure don't disconnect your internet connection otherwise you will not able to install ubuntu on your system it will take uh, if your internet speed is more then it will take less time okay but it will take around 5 to 10 or 20 minutes so i'm going to skip this part okay so now you can see this is asking for which browser you want to install so you can select whatever you want and if you want to install visual Co visual studio code or sublime text you can install or if you want to install any vlc viewer or a video edit a video player you can use as well okay so it is starting installing that packages as well so it will take some time so just wait okay so now after some time you will get this type of screen screen so it means you are successfully installed ubuntu on your system so just exit your termux again then clear recent apps again and just open your termux and type ubuntu that's it now you have successfully installed ubuntu with gui mode how you can do that how you can access your GUI mode? Let me show you. So first of all, you need to enable VNC Viewer. VNC. So for that, just type VNC Start. For first time, it will ask to set up your VNC password. Just set up. Type N for No and press Enter. That's it. Your VNC server is started successfully. You can see that display 1 and port number is 5901. Okay. So let me open my VNC viewer application. Just click on plus icon, then click on address and type here localhost colon one. Why one? Because our port number is 5901. Okay, that's why I'm using localhost colon one. Now just type high quality, picture quality, make it high, then click on connect. Now it is asking for password. Just go back and click on remember password then type your password which you set for your vnc and now you can see you successfully logged in to your ubuntu operating system which is ubuntu 24.04 with gui access okay so it is looking very good now let me check our internet connection is working or not or a browser application is opening or not so you can see our browser is open successfully so let me check our internet connection is working or not so let me open any website so just click on address bar here and let me check okay so just open facebook 
and you can see our internet connection is working perfectly fine so no issue in internet now let's open terminal you can see beautiful terminal also working no issue in that as well so just let me show you file manager or our files are showing or not so you can see all files are showing let me show you our sd card or internal storage is showing or not so our internal storage may be okay so you can see that sd card it means our internal storage is showing perfectly fine just open it and you can see all our internal storage files and folders are perfectly showing so with this way you can easily install ubuntu 24.04 on your android system without root so just close it and let me show you how you can restart and reuse our ubuntu without any problem so for that first of all let me open my termux and type vnc stop because we started our vnc server just close our termux again open our termux and how you can access your vnc very simple is it is it just first of all enter into ubuntu then type vnc start now it is started on finance Studio one again now go to vnc viewer and just click on that and you can see you can easily access your desktop mode now for stop you can use vnc stop or you want to use root user so you can type sudo su so you can use root as well so with this way you can easily install and use ubuntu 24.04 on your android if you have any questions you can come here to my article and read faq section i already give you all the important questions with his answers so you can read it so if you still have any questions or doubt in your mind you can comment below okay so thank you so much for watching guys we will meet in the next video thank you so much